Well, the overall health expenditure in India has been around 4.2% of the GDP, sometimes coming to about 4%. And out of this, only a quarter has been from public financing. And public financing has been ranging between about 1% to 1.2% according to different estimates, uh, which means that at least about 70% or even slightly higher is out-of-pocket private expenditure. And much of this comes from outpatient expenditure, about 70%. And about 72% of that expenditure comes from medicines. So it's a simple rule of 70 by 70 by 70. 70% 70 out of pocket, private. Out of that, 70% outpatient. And out of the outpatient, 70% on medicines. So there is a major problem in terms of limited public financing. Firstly, we do require increased amount of public financing. If we have to achieve universal health coverage with adequate service provision and financial protection, we need to increase public financing of health to more than 3% of GDP, preferably closer to 4%, but at least 3% of GDP should be public finance. Unfortunately, there has been far greater expenditure disproportionately on secondary and tertiary care. Uh, indeed, about 40% of our health expenditure from whatever health accounts are available is on primary care. And about 38% of the health expenditure has been on secondary and tertiary care. But this is 2005 figures. Now, with uh, Rashtriya Swasthya Bhima Yojana and a number of other health insurance programs, I am sure the expenditure on secondary and tertiary care has risen further. The remaining amount, about 20 to 22 percent, is for administration. So, primary care, which ought to have been getting at least 60 to 70 percent of all ex health expenditure, has been sadly neglected. Firstly, increase public financing on health, and from the increased allocation, spend at least 70% on primary health care. And that should be earmarked for primary health care. Without which, we will have escalating expenditure on secondary and tertiary care because much of the problems that could and should have been prevented in primary care level would now spill over in unattended into secondary and tertiary care. We must also start rationalizing within the public expenditure in terms of what our priorities are. Rightly, we have been spending a fair amount on reproductive and child health, and we must continue to do that, and on infectious diseases. But we have spent too little on non-communicable or chronic diseases. Indeed, when we spent 12.7% of the program-related health budget on uh, reproductive and child health and 6.8% of the health budget on communicable diseases, we spend only 0.9% on non-communicable diseases, which are now the number one killer and the major cause of disability in India. So we ought to now start allocating more also to non-communicable diseases for prevention and control.